Hey guys, welcome back to Surviving Infidelity. Today we got a video with a story titled Seven Months In, Where to Go From Here. Before we get into the video, just wanted to remind you of the Patreon link in the description if you want to see more videos that are uncensored. Go to that link and just check it out if you'd like. And let's get straight into it. Backstory. My, 25 male, Y, 25 female, cheated on me with my cousin slash best friend over the course of two to three months last spring. Ugh. My wife and I have been together since high school, have a two-year-old daughter together, and still have a pretty consistently been in contact. The affair started in February of last year. My cousin was going through some troubles with his girlfriend and I invited him to sleep on our couch until he got his stuff together. I knew something happened because one morning after we've all been drinking, they woke up cuddled up. Oh, with each other. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of a weird thing to be seeing. Both were very upfront and assured me nothing happened, just a drunk sleep thing. I feel absolutely stupid for ever remotely buying that. But you do because you love these people. Like you really don't, you obviously trusted them to believe them. Over the course of the next few months, I grew increasingly paranoid about this. And any time I brought it up to either of them, I was made out to be crazy. One time in particular stands out. He had sent my wife a message on Snapchat. Since we were all very close, I went to open it and sent a joking response, but my wife grabbed her phone and threw it across the room right when I went to open it. Oh, sus. I was somewhat shocked, but her excuse was that they were planning my birthday party and didn't want me to see. In brackets, it says LOL. Anyways, in August, some more things went down that really made me start questioning what really happened. My spidey senses were tingling, so I looked through her phone and searched his name. What's up with all the videos lately being like a, a feeling? Spidey senses almost. I found everything I needed to in a text thread with a friend of hers she confided in. Basically, they had intercourse three times that I know of while I was asleep upstairs with our daughter. Oh, <laughs> that's rough. That's really, really rough. It was absolutely life shattering. We ran a business together and I mostly took on a role of a stay-at-home dad since my daughter was born. I grabbed my stuff and my daughter and I moved into my parents for a couple months. She moved in with her mum and we put our house up on the market. Oh my god, that, yeah. I was messed up. I didn't have an income of my own and I had no clue what to do. By November or so, I had a job and the house sale fell through so I moved back in. I intend on keeping the house and she is being civil about that. As of now, we are still married, though that needs to change soon, of course. We are amicable, custody hasn't been an issue, and I'm trying my best to get along with her, for my child's sake. That said, I am struggling figuring out how to put the pieces back together and feel normal again. My wife is already in a serious relationship, and I feel like I may never want to be committed to anybody ever again. Essentially, I've felt like a shell of a human since this has all happened, and want to know more about how the process has worked for some of you. When do you feel human again? When does the non-stop trust issues go away? I feel like it has affected every relationship I've had. Obviously, I haven't gone through this, so I don't really have the best advice. It's a hard and a long road ahead, that's all I know. Like, there's not much advice that I could give personally. But if you have some advice, or like, if you've been through this, let me know. I could imagine... It would take a lot of self-work and self-reflection kind of thing to even getting past a situation like that. Especially with like non-stop trust issues and like not feeling like yourself. Honestly, maybe a therapist could be like a really good thing if you had the money. It was kind of, from what we know, we it's kind of been like a mature, clean split. But obviously he is the rougher end of the straw, really. Let me know if you have any advice um, or if you've been through this and how you got through that. It's not crazy, juicy story. It's just more a realistic on how people feel after they get their life turned upside down. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget about the Patreon link down in the description. And if you want, you can comment, like or subscribe. And I'll see you in another video, guys. Bye.